probably we're just doomed to keep repeating our mistakes for the rest of eternity, everyone. It's 2020, and it's back to Hoi 4. Only for like two, three videos, though, until eventually we all get bored again and wait another year for another mediocre DLC. Don't worry, if you like uh, myself are very disillusioned with the world, you know, the overpriced DLC, the video games that don't hold your interest, and most importantly, nobody really voicing your opinions on the bigger stage, I know exactly what you need to do. That's right, I saw a Productions 2020. Go ahead and get yourself a shirt right now and support the movement. Look at that bad boy. It's me. I could be running for public office now that Bernie's got no chance. So uh, we're back in the world of uh, Larry's Estance. And, uh, you know, today we're going to do something a little bit different. You see, I could go ahead and jump straight into the Spanish focus tree or the French one. But there is a country that I never really play as. Uh, now, I might have made a few videos of them on the channel. But in my spare time and the time I like to play Hoi 4, you know, as an actual video game and not a way to make a living. There is uh, one major power that never really holds my interest. And that is the United United Kingdom. Uh, you see, unfortunately, that little imperialistic island off the coast of Europe is in its downturn in this part of history, and whilst it does have many opportunities in Hoi 4 to do things differently, it's still just an island off the coast of Europe for me. I mean, what are you going to do? Half your time's just sitting there like, Oh yeah, Germany, you you, you do that. You, you take Czechoslovakia. Just, uh, just don't take any more, you know? <laughs> Please? You know what? Today's gonna be a different day, because, uh, there's something that I was told, specifically by Bo, and, uh, the people on his Discord, that was also probably known by everyone by now, is that there is a little fun way to play the UK nowadays. Now, uh, this has literally been in the game since the, uh, the, the pre-release patch, um, so everyone that got the game early immediately made this aware to Paradox, and, uh, I'm pretty sure it's still in, and I think they might have patched it out in the beta patch, but there is something... Super duper fun you can do. Uh, you know, first things first, normal England game. You just want to go to your navy tab and uh, just just look at it, really. And gee, that's a, that's a lot of trash. Uh, you know what, first things first, we're not doing any of this ahistorical nonsense. What a bunch of baloney that is and very un-British like. Uh, you see, we need to go ahead and follow the historical way the Britain went about, you know, being successful in the world, which is mostly not getting involved. Let those stupid Europeans fight all they want and just pray to God no one's get big enough to uh, f figure out that there's there's more land out there to conquer. So for the most part, we're just gonna, you know, you know, 35 day focus for this one paradox. But you know what? You know, some some aren't 35 day focuses. This one's 70 day focus. But what's the difference, really? Yeah, we're also gonna go ahead and uh, start our spy agency up nice and uh, quickly, so we can get to work doing what we gotta do. Uh, m no messing around on this one. I'm just gonna call it Biden 2020. You know what? Actually, we we are gonna do the old the old British strategy, but uh, something might be a little bit different, and that's because I've gone ahead and used my uh, my you know my. Um, pre-existing knowledge of what's about to happen in the world, and I think we need to go ahead and revisit the colonial policy, because, uh, you know, get this eventually, um, you know, all these little colonies we got, uh, you know, someone, somewhere, when eventually told them, they could also shoot us back. I, I, I don't know what ruddy idiot bloody told them that secret, but it's a bit Blummin' unfortunate, am I right? Right, so next all we want to do is, uh, we want to go ahead and do free research thingamajibbies on your, uh, spy jibbibbibbies. You know, I'm actually starting to talk like Joe Biden now. Once you got that out the way, you can go ahead and click this very special button that makes you a spy master. That gives you, uh, well, you, you can read it right there. It's pretty good. Right, so again, immediately, I've just got myself two extra spies. And the fun part about this is it's only the beginning. Another fun thing we get as the British is an... <laughs> they just keep throwing the spies at me. I'm going for all of these decolonization things. And uh, I think it's safe to say I got quite a few agents lined up. Uh, it's also safe to say... You know where I'm putting them. <laughs> Good thing about having all these agents and a massive spy network in Germany right now is that having them all go ahead and, you know, do some protesting actually has a very great effect on the Germans, being that, um, well, they're losing a lot of, <laughs> a lot of stability 
and war support. Try this out, what happens if I just immediately start trying to boost Germany Democratic? Yeah, that, uh... That's, uh, that's certainly doing the trick right there. That's doing, that's doing the trick quite nicely. I know we're doing that whole, you know, non-intervention and stuff, but uh, I meant non-intervention in Europe. Uh, Iraq is free game. Ah, you know, there is a uh, research and stuff on your own, but, you know, why bother doing that? Just, uh, just steal what the Germans know. I, mean, I, I could just carry on my uh, non-colonialism thing, but the, the difference is there is that we will be re in Iraq later on, and these guys have oil. Um... So, no. Despite my meddling in European affairs, it appears that the Germans are being a bit too aggressive. As such, we're gonna have to bring out the big guns and really show them a lesson. And <clears throat> by invading the Dutch. You know, I gotta say, Germany, that's a very uncool move. Uh, not as uncool as that stability's looking. Pain about having all these people in my faction, sometimes I can't see the goddamn research menu. I gotta say, the Germans, you know, they do put up a good fight and whatnot, and you know, they are the smart boys of Europe right now, but at the same time, they sure do love getting shot by me a lot. You know, the great thing about turning all my colonies into spies is that I don't have to worry about all of my colonies. Not an interest now, I can still do uh, destroyers for bases when I only own Bermuda now, but but, uh, sure thing. Yeah, I don't have to worry about my colonies do much until the Japanese wake up, but, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, start, you know, sorting that out now. Oh, good news. Cockburn shot down the red bow flight. Oh, oh, there they go. Uh, won't be putting too much, uh, focus or thought into that, because, uh, I'm not, I'm not putting any focus or thought into anything, really. Well, Mr. Joni, how the, uh, turntables have turned around it, uh. Apparently, America doesn't want to join our faction, because... Both of them and us are losing wars, apparently. Well, I, I didn't check my spies for a while, and it, it doused appear a lot of them appear to be in prison. My own intelligence warfare against myself, really, because I can't actually see where the Germans are beyond all of the people in my faction. You know, I don't want to say it, but I'm pretty sure I just got my grandma captured in a, in a, in a spy operation, you know? I feel like I might have broke Germany. And looky, looky, America finally wants to join the faction. I don't think so. Wait, you're also trying to attack the French. And I see that the, uh, the Soviets have, you know, so little to do that they're just moving the industry to the Urals for the fun of it. Uh, as well as uh, that scared of the Turks taking these few tiles that, um, <laughs> you know, they, they could take the industry any minute. Break through the Turkish line there, Mr. Stalin. Uh, bet you feel a bit stupid about moving your entire industrial base to a mountain now. Oh, uh, well, apparently at the very last minute, the, uh, Soviets decided to get up off their bottoms and get involved. Oh, uh, you know, I guess it's the, uh, the fourth that counts, really, Mr. Stalin. Even you're doing naval production. You're, you're invading the Balkans right now and you're thinking about building a navy. I know exactly what to do with you, then. Your spy network getting in place, keeping an eye on exactly what Stalin's having for breakfast. Oh God, this is... This is such a goddamn mess. Just look at all the trash hanging around. Yeah, play Hoy 4, they said. Nice relaxing game. Nothing to worry about. Your eyeballs definitely won't catch cancer from looking at all this trash. I don't even know what to do with this land. But I know that the Soviets don't deserve any of it. No, I, come on. To be fair, I sacrificed my colonial empire for, for a European one. There you go. What a... What a... What a beauty on the eyeballs. I'm not entirely sure about the uh, location of West Germany, considering... Well, I, I own the rest of Germany, and I set up the German Republic over here. So I, you know what? Sure. I can only assume that all the Allied leaders, including Stalin himself, just got a bit too drunk on the uh, peace negotiations. But technically, the war's not over, though. Uh, Japan's still at war with France, but they never declared war on me. Um, I haven't joined either, and they are now all the Soviets. So uh, will I get involved? Probably not. Oh, you can invite Ireland. Uh, sure, you want to come in? I, I mean, I have no more use for spies and stuff, but you, I'll, I'll get you guys in for the fun of it. I haven't invited the uh, Americans, though. And, uh, you know, I just, I just don't think I will. Uh, I didn't double check this, but I'm pretty sure from what I've heard from other people, this was 100% patched out in the, uh, the next version of the patch. So, um, I wouldn't get too happy about this, but if you want to give it a go, now's the time to try it, really. Uh, you know, it's, it's really not looking like, uh, Japan's having a fun time. Especially when the, the Mongol invasion round two electric boogaloo is happening. Didn't even realize that half my, uh, half my spies were murdered at some point. So I guess I'll get back to her recruiting all these guys back. There you go. I've got 21 out of 28. Uh, I'm pretty sure the max I got was like 30 something. And, uh... <laughs> 
A lot of them have been murdered. I'm pretty sure we're going to go end it off here now, though. Uh, this was just a cool little look at La Resistance again, where um, I'll probably be doing a couple more videos on France and Spain and whatnot to look at their focus trees. I don't know which path I'm going to go, but we'll, we'll figure that out when we come to it. But this was just a cool little thing that everyone keeps telling me to do, and buongiorno. I've done it. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe button for more La Resistance content. Uh, you can expect a few more videos over the coming week or next two weeks. I haven't really understood where I'll be uh, scheduling these. Uh, but if uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe button. Go ahead and buy yourself some ISORO 2020 merch. Link in the description. It really helps out if you guys buy some so I can buy more DLC. <laughs> you think I'm joking.